Hi everyone and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd, it's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd. And in today's video, I'm going to be drawing the Pu'uli again, but this time I'm going to be doing it in that new style I started with the Dodo Bird video a couple of videos back. I'm basically going to be going through all the previous drawings I'd made on this channel and updating them to this newer style, alternating between a redo and a new extinct animal. So with that out of the way, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So here I'm thinking I'm going to be starting off with the basic outline and sketch of the Pu'uli to get it basically started so I can do my coloring in with my more pencil tool that I've been doing the last couple of videos. I'm referring to a reference image throughout this video, obviously, and I think I do have better reference images this time as the drawing did not take me as long as the previous Pu'uli and it looks a bit better in my opinion, though admittedly that also could have been from experience. Growing since the first drawing because I've been drawing extinct animals on this YouTube channel for about a year at this point. And so now I'm going to be starting in with the legs of the Pu'uli and getting them in. They're rather longer, and I'm trying to get them in. They were the thing, in my opinion, that looked the worst in my previous Pu'uli video, so I think they look a lot better here, obviously, because I think this drawing is better than the previous one. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm getting in the back leg and getting the claw in, and I realized I did the feet wrong because they have a back claw, and I didn't have that. So now I'm adding in the back claw. And now with that added in, and I'm trying to fix the back one there because it doesn't look as good. And there we go. Okay. Now it's time for the thing that took me a very long time in the previous drawing, which was getting the beak to look actually reasonable. And I'm pretty sure I got the beak to actually look good this time. I think it actually looks pretty decent. So, yay me. Okay. And I think at this point I'm just immediately going to be starting on the coloring in. Do I? Yes, I do. That sketch was really simple because it's a very simple outline, and I didn't have a lot I needed to tweak that much. So, I'm going to be starting off making sure, I guess, that I have the right tool, maybe? I don't know. So, um, I'm going to be starting in with the head. Actually, no, I think I was trying to test um, if I was on the correct layer or not. Yeah, that was what I was testing. And now I'm trying to get in the face after getting the top of the head done. Getting that colored in, like so. Okay, so now that I have the face colored in, I think it's time for me to move on to the rest of the body. Now I am looking to the reference image here, I think, to see like where exactly the brown coloring should be on the bird, but overall I think I get a pretty decent idea of where it should be, generally along the back. So, we're trying to get that colored in right there, all through there, and into the tail, and then smoothing it out a bit, I think, yep, smoothing it out. And then it's a massive, I have to think of how exactly I'm going to be doing the belly. Ultimately, I decided, I think, to color it in just completely with a tan color, and then do a white pencil coloring over it so that I can actually see exactly what it looks like and actually get a more of that like multi two-tone feather coloration I wanted to be looking for with the uh, belly of the Pu'uli here. So I do the tan and then I'm getting the white colored pencil over it to make sure it looks good. And there we go. Over top and that looks good. And then I zoom out a lot for some reason. I don't quite know exactly why I did that. Um, and then I realize I need to make the wing a bit more noticeable. So I round out the back and draw a little line to show that the wing does indeed actually exist on the bird. Then I move on to the feet of the Pu'uli. And I find a nice gray color for the feet. And I'm just going to start coloring that in. Right through there. Okie dokie. And then I move on to the back leg, which is a bit darker because of shading to show depth and stuff like that. So with that all colored in, like that. Okay. And then we move on to the beak of the Pu'uli, 
through there. Another silvery color for the beak too, because that's what the color is of the bird. Um, and then I do a little smile. I can't really move it onto the main face though, because I can't show the smile color because it'd be the same as the feather color. And then my typical electric blue eye in, add in the pupil and then cover it with, and then add the like little white reflection bit to show that there's light in the drawing. Okay, and then I think I remove, at this point, I remove the basic sketch outline I had and realize there's a bit of smoothing out I have to do in a few spots, such as the top of the head right through there, and the back of the body right through there, and then right through the legs, I think yeah right there at the connection point between the body and the legs I do a bit more just to show that and then I add in a black pencil line through there to show that there is a division there and that there are different things and you know more shading because depth perception is cool on drawings um I realized I screwed up something there um and there we go and then I think at this point I experiment a bit. Actually, no, I think I cut the experimentation. Um, I was considering adding in a background, but I ultimately did not. So that concludes my drawing of the Pu'uli. So what did you think of my drawing of the Pu'uli? Let me know in the comments down below. What extinct animal do you want me to draw in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!